As we can deduce from the example presented at the end of the previous section, an HDF5 file is a container for two kinds of objects. Datasets, which are array-like collections of data, and groups, which are folder-like containers that holds datasets and other groups. In relation to Python, groups work like dictionaries and datasets work like NumPy arrays. In the following examples, we assume that the h5py and NumPy modules have been imported. Creating a new file with h5py is done by simply calling the file constructor with a file name and an opening mode. We will cover the different opening modes later, but here we can see that we can use the w for write to create a new file. The file object is the starting point which includes several methods. For example, creating a dataset can be done with create dataset. This creates an HDF5 dataset, not an array, although it behaves similarly. Just like NumPy arrays, datasets have both a shape and a data type. Here, for example, we declare a 1D array of length 100 and of type integer. You can confirm by accessing the dot shape and dot D type properties of the dataset object. As pointed out earlier, datasets support array style slicing. Here, for instance, we plot a subset of the dataset going from 0 to 100 with a step of 10. HDF5 organizes resources in a tree-like structure where each node of the tree is separated by a slash and where each object has a name. This follows the style of folders on an operating system. Folders in the system are called groups. The file object we created is itself a group in this case, the root group, or slash. Groups can include subgroups using the function createGroup. For example, here, f.createGroup subgroup will give us a subgroup. Similarly, subgroups can include datasets. Here, we add another dataset to subgroup. We can confirm that it has been added to subgroup by looking at the name property of this new dataset. We can also create subgroups and datasets by using a full path. And finally, we can access groups and datasets directly using Python-like dictionary using the path. A key feature of HDF5 is the ability to store metadata with the data. For groups and datasets, this is achieved via the concept of attributes. Attributes are accessed via the ATTRS proxy object, a dictionary interface. The following example shows how to set a value to an attribute and how to access it. We can also check if an attribute is part of the dictionary.